well okay this is super loud also hold on let me just audio realm of ink yeah i don't really know much about this game i just really like the art style and the gameplay looked super fun all i know is that it's a roguelike and that's about it so hopefully it's good Honestly, the art style is so, so sick. Ooh, oh, yeah. 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 Uh, three hit combo. Use light attacks to defeat. Why would you give bring the enemy towards me while I'm reading? Use the light attacks to defeat the fox demon clone. Okay. Uh, look at this. I can't read if you keep giving me enemies. Charge heavy attacks can unleash a powerful circular slash covering a large area. Use heavy attacks to defeat the fox. Ooh. Right, come here. Come. Come on. What? Oh. Nice. Oh, this game's gonna be fun. I can already tell. I love roguelikes. Roguelikes are so fun. Oh no! I pressed the wrong button to dodge. Okay, healed back up. Nice. I'm slightly worried that I'm not really getting any rewards from. From entering different rooms, maybe I like get rewards at the end and they're permanent. Ooh, oh, there we go. I get rewards per room. Uh, power of the ink. LT Ink Gem Info Equip up to two Ink Gems. Once you have two Ink Gems, your Ink Pet evolves into a unique form based on the combination for the five phases of the Ink Gems. Of the five phases of the Ink Gems, I should say. Ink Gems imbued with divine power grant you a unique active skill. Ink skill along with a powerful passive bonus decompose unwanted ink gems into ink stones to upgrade your ink gems for more power i don't know what any of this means <laughs> summon a tiger claw to attack your front uh pay five damage for each enemy you hit two percent critical you can accumulate up to 10 stack and last three seconds Okay, so if I have the right combination of ink gems, then I can get like a really good passive and active. Embarking on an adventure with these adorable ink pets. Discover, discover surprises. I just collect two ink gems. The magic awaits. And I get perks as well. Primary, secondary okay oh. what oh oh nice oh blaze ink fire with the fire of blaze ink the faster you use ink skills the greater the amplifier 
Invocation. With the power of Venom Ink, you can infect spells with... Le oh, I do like that. Lethal Poison is always good. Uh, let's see how that combination helps. I'll just click to switch into Ink Pet Manual. Ink Pet can learn more unique and powerful passive active skills with related enhanced ink gems when involved. When a player gets hit or dodges with dash, the ink pet casts a ring of thorns, dealing 36 damage. Dodging requires a one second charge. Is that my passive? Okay. Uh, thorny ambush. The tail burrows deep underground and emerges beneath the feet of surrounding enemies. Takes in two stages of attack, each dealing 24 damage. Hmm interesting uh how exactly do i activate my <laughs> passive and active skills oh freak oh, okay there we go i'll scare the mess out oh, can i also take this you really helped me a lot oh okay substitute it oh that's cool he does change form depending on the combination but they must have had to draw a lot of different different forms for him Uh, gonna make good. That's my cooldown. Has a 10 percent chance to cast Chain Lightning when performing a basic attack, dealing 12 additional damage per bolt. I kind of prefer this. Surrounded with lightning and dashes forward and backwards twice. Dealing six damage with each dash. Additionally, each bash consistently triggers the six lightning chain strikes. Uh, ink skill cooldown light attack and every attack you have five percent chance to reduce cooldown of all ink skills. Yeah, I do not <laughs> know if I have time to be sitting here reading all this. I guess hit or dash is a dash. Okay. Considering I have to get hit in order for that to activate, I, pr I think I prefer the other one. How do I leave? Oh, to decompose. Do I have to do that every time? Because that's going to be annoying. So I choose. Oh, okay. So I can take my time choosing which combination I want. Just to kind of see what each combination is and then decompose whichever one I don't want. That's pretty cool. <laughs> you got destroyed. What am I doing? There's no way for me to speed this up. You're way too slow. Pathetic. Uh, I don't know. Ooh, flash ink water with a power of flashing. Then boost dash and cast swift blade for every dash. What does that give me? Cast an ice pillar above a random nearby enemy, dealing additional damage. Okay. Uh, dash damage. Move speed. Critical chance. Critical chance. Five percent critical damage. Plus ten. The other ink skill you equip gains five percent critical chance. Lightning attack. Hmm. 
unable to perform basic attacks surrounded by the misty aura dealing damage every second but nearby enemies also reduce the damage dealt by affected enemies of five seconds Ooh. Oh, that's actually hold on so they can't perform basic attacks but the mist is surrounded by damages them for every second and reduces the damage dealt by affected enemies that sounds kind of sick vamonos choose route gem abyss that's only the only route <laughs> So, no. Yo, I can't read if you keep. Come here. Now, should always try and get them. There you go. To come into his IV ink. With the power of the IV ink, he can torment foes. Fifty-seven chance to apply one layer of ashen curse to enemies, increasing damage taken by one percent with a maximum of ten stacks lasting two seconds. Mm, Someone slowly advancing massive dark energy. Second for enemies, okay. and then. When entering a room, trigger a floor blessing, granting the player all damage of 7% for 10 seconds. During the period, damage received is reduced by 5 cents. Uh, the 1 plus agony effects plus 3 the damage has a 5% chance to inflict on stack of poison. Okay. You know, I just, I have no idea if what's good or what's bad. I just, I'm just kind of. Okay. Ooh. I was, I thought those were explosives. I was expecting them to explode. That's why I was trying to gain some form of distance. It's cool that it changes for, um the creature style for like every combination. Silver chest. A substantial amount of silver coin, different elixirs. I think silver coin is probably going to help me buy better base abilities. So I'll probably go for those. No. Oh, wait, what is that? Yo, why am I? Ouch. Nice, good work. Ooh. Are these health? potions i don't know why but this is kind of giving me like hades vibe you know uh the ink gems and a small amount of coin and a small amount of perks oh, okay Back up. No, Yo, I can't attack. Is this because of my ability or something? Or is this my controller messing up? I actually have no idea. I think it's my controller messing up. Oh, my controller is going to mess me up. Yo, do you mind? Yo. My ink power is messing him up anyways. I don't even have to do anything. Oh, freak. I can't attack. I can move fine, so I don't know if it's my controller or if... There we go. Oh, no. 
Okay, hold on. Pause. What the frick is happening? Okay, hopefully. Okay, that's very good. Oh, frick. Did you mind? Can you stop? messing up at this point i have to assume there's some sort of status effect from getting hit by the enemy's attack i think that's what it is it, it prevents me from being able to attack let me test that actually hold on i think it's this guy that aims long okay let's see now No, I can still attack. I don't think it's his status effect. That's off me. Toxic arrow. Duration of poison plus one second. All right, damage has a 5% chance of inflict on one stack of poison. Divine cloak. Restore 10 HP before entering a new room. Venom Peony and Dash summon a magic circle at start position of two. So one stack of poison every second, we got five charge. Poison takes three damage every second. Um, I like the poison arrow. The Cloak one would be fine if I was really struggling. But I mean, if I break some of these, I'll probably get like a healing potion out of them. So I'm not really hurting for heals right now. Did I heal? I don't think I healed. Gem Abyss. Uh, I kind of like the combination I have now for the gem abyss, so. But I might, I should, probably should, should be going for them. What? Rhino cup uh, damage is multiplied by on to full health enemies. Dash attack damage. I can do. I have dash attack damage. I'm gonna do a dash attack. What? Spell bolts. Magic circle damage plus twenty percent. Direct damage to an enemy. Summon a magic circle. At the enemy's feet. Ah, I like that. We'll go for silver chest and then. Next time I go. Oh, great. Obviously, it has a charge up time. There we go. Ouch. Oh, freak. Are you a boss? Who are you? Yeah, once I start actually using my special skills, it makes these fights so much easier. Get on. 
My health is not looking too good though. I've almost lost I've almost lost one third of my health. King Young, hello. So the formation powers. Oh so do I pay money or crystal? Which one do I like better? From rare to epic. So the damage goes from 10% to 10%. Think skill cooldown. No. I think I, I really like the poison. 5% Lightning attack and 5% chance to inflict Every 3 second cast poison ones underneath Enemies effect in mind Alright sure why not You know what Nah I feel like I'm gonna en end up Changing and getting a different gem. Guang Yu. Uh, is this selling me heals? Uh, twice cooked four crystals. We've spent fifty percent HP. I don't need that much health. Uh, spicy rabbit leg. So thirty percent HP. Increases dash attack damage. Reduces dash cooldown. Hung Pao Chicken. Mm. It's those 25% HP. Sorry, I can't even talk. My mouth is watering already. Uh, increase critical chance by 7%. Actually, hold on. How do I do my dash attack? I don't feel like I need this. This does. Heavy attack damage plus 12%. When entering a new room, critical damage plus 6 seconds. During extend duration. Damage reduction. Damage multiplier to summon your attacks. Effect can be. Stacks and last till you leave the room. That's expensive. Uh, when in poison damage, when does damage there's a smooth chance of inflicting one stack of poison. Uh, stone umbrella. I like stone umbrella. And I like this one. All right. I was just about to say, I wish they would do better music. Oh, freak! Yo! Oh, okay. You know, I'm... S <laughs> All of a sudden, I kind of wish I'd heal healed up to full health now. Oh, freak. Oh my god, I forget about that every time. I am dead. I'm so dead. Yo, the AOE thing is getting me every time. Okay, remember he does an AOE. There we go. Get off me, man. God. Does he summon these every time he does that attack or something? It's super... Oh, my God. Okay, there we go. Let's 
Like honestly, I feel like ignoring them and just going for him is the best play. I dodged that. That's some BS, okay? Yo, my health is looking treacherous. Okay, hold up. There you go. Ow, ow. Okay, almost done. Just don't die, please. Oh, I've got no dash. Okay, got it. Come on. Finish him. Excellent. Let's go. Oh, what? There's a second stage? Oh, no. I'm dead. How is this even fair? I've got one HP. Okay, this one's gonna be the AOE. Oh, and I'm dead. Ah. Oh. Shadow Twin Blade. Azure Aura Blade are available now. Talent still activated. Unlock talent and hands with. <sighs> Ying Ning. Mortality seems fake, but you're here, so fax in. Who are you? Innkeeper. Down here. Waking up from the story. Not able to buy it anymore. I get a story relic. Oh, this place is nice. I love what you've done with the place, Ying Ning. I look at this place. So Oh, I guess this is where I can keep going. <laughs> Mecha fight, okay.
Oh, I like this so much better. Okay, what's this one? Azure Blade. And it doesn't take too long to charge up either. 24 damage is the highest the light attack does. 40 damage is... I do like the Azure Blade, but the Shadow Twin Blades are so nice. They don't deal as much damage. But just being able to like just go crazy with them is super nice. I wanna get I'm gonna give each weapon a run, see how it feels. We've already tested out the Scarlet Sword. So we're gonna do the twin blades now. I do feel like if I can increase my dash, is there somewhere around here that I can like get permanent upgrades? Hmm, I guess not. Snowy Sanctuary. I, I, I should, didn't actually read that. Max HP plus 15 man HP is below 50%. Uh damage reduction plus 8%. Damage reduction 5 plus 20 when HP below 50. Light attack heavy attack. So my light and heavy attack cast stone thrust, which do a damage equal to 70 percent of the damage dealt by my attack. Three seconds to charge. Hmm. This seems really good. I might keep this indefinitely. All right, let's test this out. Oh yeah, there's so much more fun. So much more fun to play with, man. I love it. Flash ink. Ooh. What's that design? I can't see his face. It's like a frog or a toad. Cast a puddle beneath the enemy, dealing one additional damage and pulling one enemies within it to the center. Five second cooldown. Mm -mm. Storage limit of dash. Oh, it gives me one extra dash. Move speed 7.5%. Flash ink water. A dash the effects can accumulate up to two upon the conclusion of a dash gain five shield which lasts for one second and it gives me a shield uh dash storage limit of dash plus one new speed Okay, one thing I know I need for these twin weapons. Are more, I need more attack damage. Needle ink. Uh, I know this gives me extra dash, but 
Lead in duration plus one, bleed in stacks limit plus seven, gains two percent critical chance for each enemy afflicted by bleeding. Light attack and heavy attack have a seven point five percent chance to inflict one stack of bleeding. Uh critical hit has a fifteen percent chance to inflict one extra stack of bleeding. I don't know what any of this means, I'm gonna be honest. When the uh, basic attack strikes an enemy, one crystal randomly appears around an enemy requiring recharging for two seconds. For every three seconds, cast an ice pillar above a random nearby enemy, then they additional damage, so 5% for one second. Uh, summon so pierces bleeding duration. I really want the bleeding effect. That's good. I don't really know what's good or what's bad, so I'm just gonna kind of do whatever I want. <laughs> I'm focused on getting in damage in this one, so anything that gets me more damage would be very welcome. Yeah, the mess out of me. My controller is messing up. So permanently increase critical chance by three and critical damage by eight. Permanently reduces the cooldown of ink seal by ten percent. Oh, I love the yin yang one. Soul meld elixir. Permanently increase ink skill damage. Forget ink skill damage. Give me light attack damage and heavy attack damage. Ink skill cooldown by ten percent would be really good though. So the chest, elixir hub, different elixirs. For well, unique challenge and abundant precious treasures. Elixir hub. Mm, I don't know what this is. Trial Valley sounds. We'll go Trial Valley. I want to see what that is. Oh. Oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh. Is that the, is that my pet's AOE or is that I don't know if that hurts me. Does it? Oh my god. Oh I'm supposed to Oh I'm stupid. I think I'm supposed to protect this. Yeah. I'm I'm an idiot. I was just <laughs> No. Come on, ten seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, I almost lost that. Oh my god. I really should start reading the objective more. I lost so much health as well. Venom Wyvern Elixir permanently increase DLT damage by a debuff inflicted continuous damage. Not direct damage, it can't cause a critical hit. Fuck, light attack, heavy attack, and DLT permanent increasing. 
I don't want to use this one. Uh, duration of poison, one second, no direct damage, has a 5% chance of clicking stack. Uh, damage reduction, 5%, damage modifier, 2% whenever you attack. Effect can be infinitely stacked and last till you leave the room. Good, good chance on a critical hit. There's a 20 percent. On a critical hit, there's a 20 percent chance to inflict one stack of bleeding. Two percent whenever you attack effect can be. Damage reduction. So, okay, so because it can be infinitely stacked, I think it's going to be really good. For ink gems and a small amount of silver coins. Ink gems and a small amount of ink nation. Yo, whose AOV is that? It's super annoying. I am not gonna make it far with this. <laughs> this is annoying. And I really like these weapons as well. They just don't do a lot of damage. They're quick, but not damaging. So it takes way too long. Burning damage since I went into a new room with a five stack of burning on. Ooh! Additional damage 10. And when burning explosion occurs, cool. Oh, you, this would be so sick. When burning explosion occurs, cooldown of ink skills minus 5%. But I need the burning first. Scorching mask is really good. It basically just deals damage to everyone in the room. Oh, you guys are lucky. Well, I wanted to test it out. Uh, which one do I wanna? Do I want to? I think the stone one, possibly. Max HP is fifteen. Twenty-five percent damage reduction. Restore the percent H where's the one that restores Gain a shield equals to the amount of HP last lasting for two rooms. Restore twenty five percent HP lion heavy attacks deal. Two rooms only though. Restore thirty percent HP increased damage reduction. Hyper armor. Okay, can I get that? And then I can get this one as well. Woo! <laughs> I kind of just went for it. I don't think I can afford any of these. Oh, I didn't talk to you last time, Jinchi. Uh, it's the bus fight again, isn't it? Yep.
Oh, god dang it. I keep forgetting about it. Does he do damage to himself with that? It doesn't. Oh, it's too bad. Stop forgetting about that AOE. God dang. Yo, where am I? Oh, okay. I thought I died. Because it stopped moving. I was like, what? Okay. Remember that time. Forget every time. One more. Is this like a three phase? I feel like it's gonna be a three phase thing, isn't it? Oh no. Okay, we're good. Okay, we're good. There we go. Okay, no, it's just two phases. Woo! Let's go. Restores 50% HP. Oh, do I get all of them? Thank you. Thank you. I get about marsh. Plus 5% all direct damage has a 5% chance of clicking on stack of bleeding. It will be added on one damage if the direct damage causes a quick or hair bleeding damage. So if someone using ink skill effects can accumulate up to five stacks in that. Five seconds. Ink skill cooldown 10%. Uh, I kind of like the bloody fang. Burning, fire, stone ink I'm going to keep. How does that affect the... Every five seconds, cast a magma pool beneath the random nearby enemy, lasting two seconds. Just unleashes a mighty roll to trigger a lava corruption, dealing to damage to enemies. Yeah, this I feel like I'm basically doing maths while playing this game. I'm gonna be honest, this is a little bit annoying. Every time I come across an ink elixir thing, I have to be like, okay, I'm dealing this much damage, uh, this much modifier. Uh, uh, elixir have different elixirs. I don't think we've got to check that one out. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, freak. Yo, when that boomerang returns, it is so good. I deal so much damage. Oh, no. Ouch. Rude. Uh, permanently increased dash attack by 15%. Increased heavy attack damage by 15%. Permanently increased debuff inflicting heavy attack damage by 15%. Really good. Because I do use my heavy attack a lot. Different elixirs. Let's go for some more chest. Oh. No.
Oh, you know what would be good is if I throw this and end up where it's gonna be, then I catch it quicker. Ouch. Ow. Got it. Gem Abyss pick. I'm not doing Trial Valley again in this, like twice in the same run. Wait, was this this run I did Trial Valley? I think it was. Pack and smart. Uh, uh. God dang it, I can't stay still too long. Good damage plus 15%. Every day I'll deal curse on the enemy cricket chance. Uh, max HP plus 10% restores every time you gain silver. Ooh. Armor piece sounds nice. Oh, I dang it. I shouldn't have picked up the silver I got first. I love how my dash is like super limited to oh nice. Oh an elixir. Healing elixir. So I have to like be calculative about how I use it. Well let me get some silver then if I can heal from it. Or the more reason to get it. Oh frick. Oh frick. What is that that keeps damaging me? Did not like I'm dodging their attacks. I don't. I'm not seeing them like attacking, and somehow it keeps getting damaging. Burning is super nice. Your burning is so good. Love it. Doesn't heal me for a lot, to be fair, when I gain silver, but it does heal me for a little bit. Touch of wilderness. Oh, frick. Yo, these explode? How am I supposed to beat them? I think I'm just supposed to leave them to my little thing to defeat whatever you call it. in range
Oh my god, there's so many enemies now. Nice. Let's go. What I'm talking about. Uh, like attack plus 12%. That <laughs> this is what I've been looking for. But I also really want the divine cloak. No. 10% for entering a new room. 10 HP, sorry, not 10%. Enter a new room, you gain 5 silver coins for every perk you have. Yo, this one actually is also like a healing thing for every time I... Uh, <laughs> you know, the chances of me finding like a healing elixir from breaking boards is high. So let me... Oh, actually there's some here. Hmm. Apparently not that high. Oh, and I'm going to the bus. Oh, actually, I have enough money. I can just heal up here. 25% HP increases ink skill damage by 15. Two rooms. All damage reduction increased by 10%. Today, crab meat lion's head. 30% HP. I like the fish suit. Uh, burning ink. Do I not? Oh, okay. I do really like the burning. I think I'm going to keep it. So I think I'll upgrade to epic. No, you can't borrow it for research. <laughs> okay. Never mind. What's my favorite dish? Oh, good question. Uh, so as long as it has chicken in it, I'm good. Actually, did you have anything with chicken in it? Turtle, lion said, oh, yeah, I don't think she, they're gonna maybe like a griffin or something. Duration of poison or direct damage. A toxic arrow. You're burning and poison together. That would be nice. And we take in damage. Do I do really, I did really like this one when I had it. Uh, summoning. Players or enemies within will be considered affected. So it doesn't even, I'm not immune to it. What kind of BS is that? You need to wait for. I'll get this. I also want the bleeding, but I don't think I can afford it now. That's why. Okay, can I afford another dish though? I can. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. I believe this is going to be a boss fight, which is why I'm trying to stack up. You win something. Oh, hello. You win, you win. Oh, okay. Let's go. <laughs> it's still oh, okay. I'll try. Oh, frick. Oh, oh, getting close to him is annoying. <laughs> this is gonna be 
so stupid. At least he doesn't summon any minions. Like he has AOE. What the frick? This is so stupid. I got it. Oh, no, I spoke too soon. He does have minions. Oh, he has burning effect on him. Burning and bleeding on him. Let's go. Yeah, can you move the freak out my way? Second stage. That's a little rude. Ooh, great. I won't disappoint my father. It doesn't really seem like my problem, I'm gonna be honest. Mm. Mm. I need to, I should probably start learning his attack pattern. See he rests right there. should move I don't want to die right now I'm so close come on come on yes aggressive for a meal okay Ying Ning, where'd you come from? You could to neatly develop high level ink gems to evolve your ink pet and unlock its stronger skills. What? Two nearly developed ink gems. Uh, replace the left gem. I think water. Oh, legendaries. Oh, nice. Uh, 50% storage limit of that. I get one extra dash. And after a dash, quick a chant. What does this get? Unable to perform basic attacks from runs by the Mist Aura. 120 damage every second to enemies nearby. Hmm. Okay. Critical chance plus five, quicker damage ten. 
it's not damage when burst and explosion occurs go down the ring I think I'll go with the wind fire bell. And to Ooh. A new realm appears. Okay, my ink power looks like a killing now. Kiln, killing, whatever it's called. What the Ooh, this looks like a nice stage. Yo, what the frick just happened? Did they explode on me? Why? Okay, first of all, can you stop? Yo, this mist aura thing is super nice. I just have to keep them in it. And they basically just get killed. I don't even have to like deal damage direct. Oh, frick. And then they're dead. Just like that. I don't think I, I think I'm going to keep this. Fuck yes. Nice. Once the task the critical damage caused by bleeding is increased by 25 for every stack of bleeding and the enemy increase the chance of critical hit by 1%. Dun, dun, dun. The effect of agony. I don't really think I have agony. I think I just keep stacking the burn damage. <laughs> oh right. Yeah, this oh. Yo, what is happening? I've barely taken damage just so that's good. I spoke too soon apparently. Yo, this new realm is sick, by the way. What's happening? Claim the level up reward. Okay, everybody calm down. Take a deep breath. Poison. Do I want to add poison? I think it would be good to add poison damage. The duration of poison. Well, it's just like there's a lot of enemies, but they're not. They don't take that long to kill. So poison doesn't really seem very useful. They die too quick for that. Increased critical chance. Critical damage. For every phase of ink gem. I have damage requests. Rock drum sounds good. Oh, I got more than one. Oh, this is a timed thing. I didn't even realize. They just, they just started swarming me, and I was like, bro, get away from me. Gloom hat. A light attack speed plus five every five times you light attack deals damage. A powerful attack will be cast. Wait, light attack. Every, every five times your light attack deals damage, a powerful attack will be cast to a nearby enemy. 
Ooh, plume hat sounds good. I'll go with plume hat. Oh, no. Sorry. I apologize. Get away from me. You ruffians. Your my cooldown for my ink abilities is so fast. And it looks like I can use some of them more than once before I have to deal with cooldowns for them. Yo, how long am I surviving for? Is it just survive for as long as possible? Can I leave anytime I want? How do I leave? Oh, frick. Ouch. Play my reward. Iron dagger. Dash attack damage plus 15%. Uh... Burning damage was when burning explosion occurs, summon a burning magic circle at the beef for three seconds, uh one second five fires. Oh, I like grilling next. Super nice. The effects of agony. I don't really have agony on. And shield plus ten percent and reduce ink skill cooldown by five. Whenever you're using an ink skill, gain 10 shield for 3 seconds. Oh, more cooldown for my ink skills? Absolutely. Ooh, that boss in here, there is. Oh, frick. This guy. I used to die quick. Yo, I am so dead. Damage red fire plus five. Uh, when using ink skill effects, can accumulate up to damage reduction fifteen when HP below fifteen percent. This perk when picking up this perk immediately gain a shield equal to ratio. Max HP plus twenty. The cooldown of all ink skill is decreased every time an enemy dies. This also now I'm starting to feel like this reminds me of freaking vamp. What was it? Vampire survivor. All ink skill is decreased every time an enemy. Blood cord sounds good. Oh, I did not see that. I didn't know I had one more. That was my bad. Wait, 
Where am I? Oh, ink dries up. Oh, I died. <laughs> I died. That was fun. That was a lot. So when you make it to the end, it's basically just a gauntlet of how long you can survive. Oh, that's cool. This game is a lot of fun. Time used 18 minutes bus duration, three minutes for something. Centrum duration, three minutes, Centrum best record, three minutes. I wanted to see if I could go for five minutes. That would have been sick. Announcements February 5th to 12th, Festival Limited Update. Engineering Gem awaits your exploration. Embark on a limited time journey and get ready for your pet evolution. Okay. Randomly appears after winning the battle. Ooh, I can also do a difficulty level as well. And then, for one, I also need to try out this. Azure Blade. Oh, one, two, three, four. Ooh. Sheep hairbrush. Beginners, wolf hairbrush, difficulty two. Okay, let's check out difficulty two. Should be fun. Burning. Damage plus 20% light attack, and every attack level 2 percent chance of inflicting stun damage. Or 40 percent chance of one and just attack of burning. I really like the burning ink, it's so good. I think I'm gonna keep it all the way and level it up to epic. Oh, frick. I think the Azure Blade doesn't, it doesn't stagger them, so that's like a annoying thing. Needle Ink Metal. What does this do again? Bleed Duration plus one skin. Bleeding Stack Limit is seven. Gain 2% critical chance for each enemy afflicted by bleeding. Have some plus to improve one stack of bleeding. Critical hit has a 15% chance to kill one stack. Hmm. I don't know. The metal one isn't as good, I don't think. I think fire and water has been the best combination for me right now. Gem Abyss would be really good. I need I need a better gems. I get ink metal. Needle ink metal. Mm, critical chance plus 5%. Critical damage plus 10%. The other ink skill you equip gains 5% critical chance. 5% critical chance. Light attack and heavy attack does 6 additional damage. I 
I keep what I have. It's gonna be a lot of moving around for me with this, but I'm fine with it. The Azure Blade isn't like a... Oh, what just happened to my... Who are you? Ink killing. Okay. Kiln. Killing. Whatever. Ah. Alright. 20 HP is a lot. <laughs> Ooh, what hot elixir. Light attack every time I have a decent chance to close it. Okay, what's this giving me? Poison damage, 15% poison stack limit. Okay, poison damage would be really good for this weapon, I think, because it doesn't do as much damage and it doesn't stagger them, so. My attack, no attack.
Okay. Oh, there's a bus fight after this one. Burning fire ink. Burn. Um. Some five cent poison stack. I mean, I'll do it. I need all the help I can get for the next fight. fine okay is this still the same bus it is Ooh. oh the, oh it's the poison thing i was gonna say what the frick is that Every time I forget. Ow. Ow. God dang it. I need to stop getting stupid ass careless damage. Okay, there we go. The frick off me. I'm gonna just have to be super careful with the next one. He has like four stacks of poison I'm burning already. Oh frick. Oh, I forgot about that. Me by the way, you idiot. Oh, frick. I'm so dead. Woo. Mm. Four HP. Oh, my God. so close oh, okay well i guess that settles it i was the best with the twin twin blades higher challenge and better rewards i have another i unlocks another difficulty level i don't know still the same one all right well i hope you guys enjoyed this game is fun man i really like this game and uh, hopefully if i can think of some interesting video ideas to do with this i really want to come back to it especially when it fully releases you can get some you can, this is a lot of fun i like it i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll catch you in the next one in a bit